What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're going to take a look at batman begins figure and also the tumblr as you guys know i am a huge fan of the dark knight trilogy from christopher nolan so i'm excited about this even though i already have this batman the first one which is the i think it's a toy fair exclusive uh am i gonna pick this one up i might I see that the gauntlet, it's supposed to be shiny. They didn't really make it shiny here. The cape looks great. You know, it looks like, at least from this view, you don't need to get a custom cape. Um, one of the biggest hurdle for me for this figure in back in 2014, I believe, was the suit. Um, it gets dirty and, you know, it's rubber. You can't really do much movement in here. But from the poses that they're pulling up in here, it looks like this is pretty uh, posable. Uh, I mean, you saw earlier where his leg was up. I don't even think you can do that on the first. I, I might try tonight. And, and you know, he his arm uh, moves forward in here, which you could on the first one as well. You can see also already see the creases on his like the elbow part on the arm part of this figure. And that's bound to happen. Even the actual figure itself. I mean, the actual costume, I'm assuming has that. Uh, but he can sit down on the tumbler which I, I've never even attempted doing that on my Batman. Uh, first and foremost, that Batman has some uh, some issues on the ankles. So I'm pretty sure they remedied that on this release. If you missed out on that Batman, I'm, for me, and this is just a personal preference here, I like this suit better than the Dark Knight one. But um, as far as that is concerned, I, I it, it all depends on the preference, like I said. I like this. This has more... I would say Batman looked to it like he looks mean, bulky. That is just me, you know. But I that's not saying much. I also love the Dark Knight Rises and the Dark Knight um, um, suit. I'll take both any any day of the week. But we know they're gonna release that in in the in the next year or so. Now with this, uh, we we have this sudden influx of uh, Nolan trilogy, which I'm happy for those who missed out on it. Like for somebody like myself who has pretty much everything uh in terms of that release i would love to see an updated scarecrow this one it looks like i'm sure they upgraded some things in here you know like the suit material perhaps the head sculpt looks better you know as far as paint application it just looks like the quarter scale version that was shrunk down and was put in here so that's a big plus and like look at that post right there i don't even think i would even attempt doing that on the initial release i would even do that uh, but as far as this guy goes, the cape is a big plus. The, it, it was a horrible cape on the first one. Uh, this one has some, I don't know, is it wired? Let me know in the comments because I see some some folding action going on in the back. The base looks good. Um, I like that, you know, obviously better than the oval one. I'm looking at, um, I don't think he comes with the um, grappling gun. Uh, he does. The belt, there was two belts back then. Uh, the mask, be careful with the mask. So if you are going to display him with a mask on, uh, you're going to have some black stains on the... If you leave it for too long, you're going to have black stains on the nose because it's the one that's impacting or, or touching the mask for the most part. Uh, my biggest issue, I, I would say, that's almost a 10-year figure, by the way, is the suit, like I said, it gets dirty. So I apply some armor all into it. Some people says don't do that. Uh, you can read the comments and they said it's going to damage the uh, the rubber over time. It's going to make it more dry. I've been doing that for all, for the you know the duration that I have it. Never had any problems yet, but you know, it's up to you. It's within your your own disclosure. I think it's going to be the same issue with this guy. He looks kind of bigger though. He looks bulkier now looking at it from afar. It might just be my eye tricking me here, but I I kind of like this better. Now, as far as the tumbler, man, you can see him sitting here. I'm excited for that. I did sell my tumbler, so but that was the camo tumbler. Uh, obviously, it's just a repaint, but I'm excited, man. I mean, the the face plate looks better as well. It looks like they used the ones from the uh, the the Dark Knight and all that stuff, which is great. Uh, so. And look at this post right here. Overall, I think it's an improvement uh, over the first one. If you can, if, if it's if they just fi fix the ankle by itself, it's already an improvement because most of the bar uh, the Batman, the uh, that Batman Begins suit, I would say ninety five percent of them, even if you buy it brand new, the ankles for whatever reason breaks, you know. So, but I'm I'm excited. 
Am I going to pick this up? If you had that first one, would you still pick this up? It's a toss-up. I, I, I'm not sure. This is not as an easy of a pickup, I would say, compared to the Dark Knight, the other one. I believe it's DX19. Because the DX19 offers something that even if you do have the DX12 or the Armory Batman, at least you get an updated head sculpt and you get the sonar eyes and also the emp gun for example i only have i don't have the dx12 so i have the armor batman and i don't have that emp gun which if i go this if i go that route it would give me an incentive for example because that head sculpt itself the sonar eyes it's already running for a hundred dollars on ebay and i kind of you know every once in a while throw him in that look for this guy i've had my ankles fixed so that has been taken care of. Do I feel the need to, you know, get this guy? Not not as much or not. Yeah, that not as much. I don't get incentivized as much as DX19. With that being said, it's still a good looking figure. You see that when he's sitting down and his elbows are kind of tucked in. You can see the creases uh, because this is a very loose rubber inside a body. You can it's kind of squishy, to be quite honest with you. So I mean, I'm happy for those who missed out on this. You can get this for retail. I, As of the, the making of this video, we, I don't know how the price is yet. But, you know, you can check over a Big Bad Toy Store as soon as we're done here. Hopefully, they get, you know, they put this up for pre-order. Uh, and if you're going to get it from Big Bad, you got to be fast. Because they have limited slots for uh, Hot Toys products. So, if you want to save on shipping, especially that tumbler, that is huge. If you can get that for $4 shipping compared to, I don't know how much Sideshow is going to charge shipping for that tumbler. And I can imagine that would be expensive because I had that and it is heavy. I sold it locally uh, to one of a good buddy of mine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can imagine the shipping for this guy would probably be $50. And I don't even blame Sideshow for that. It's a huge box. Speaking of which, this is the tumbler. I missed out on this, but I did have, the, like I said, the camo tumbler. Am I going to re-pick this one up? It's it's hard. It's hard. Like I don't know how much would this be priced? I think initially this was priced 400, correct me if I'm wrong in the in the comments down below. Um and you add the shipping there back then there was no tax. So you add the shipping. So let's say it's around 450. If they price this at around 600, you know, I think that's fair because buying this by itself on the secondary market, it'll run you to around 900 and that's if you get a good deal. It's a fantastic piece. The only downside to this is it's massive. So you got to have room for it to give it, you know, the proper, um, I would say the proper look for it. Um, with that being said, this, I mean, it still looks great. I would love to own one again, uh, especially this proper tumbler and not the camel one. I, you know, I have this guy. I mean, I hope they continue this line and we're still waiting for DX20. Now that they announced this, is DX20 coming up soon? And it's looking more and more like Joker now. I know we have this speculation whether it's going to be Joker or uh, Mark 1 Iron Man. It's it's all up in the air, but uh, so far, it, it does look like it's going to be Joker. With all, all the influx of this Nolan trilogy, which I'm really happy about. Uh, some of them are getting some upgrades. Some of them, For the most part, it is. You know, there's a lot of things that they have. Hot Toys has improved since that toy fair batman and i think they applied it here um but i would love to see another crack at scarecrow uh you know we've seen that that from um harvey dent the two-face this dx20 if they make it rooted here i'm excited for it uh are we finally gonna see raza ghoul um would that sell you know that's another question so we know hot toys is all about that you know and they're a business they're a business we all know that but as a fan I still wanted to see that. Hey, if they can make the Tumblr happen again, and everything's possible. I think this is the third time that they're releasing this Tumblr. And, um, you know, hey, the Dark Knight has a big following, especially now that DC's kind of hot, a uh, hot property. I don't blame them for going this route. Um, you know, got to capitalize on that, even though it's not completely connected to the DCEU or DC Universe, whatever you want to call them. Uh, still, people kind of looks into this Dark Knight because it's it's gonna be a uh, you know it's gonna be a good one. But thank, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about this release. Is it an instant pickup for you? Are you gonna think about it? Let me know in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.